Hi, I'm Jed Thompson with the Joint Institute for the Study of the Atmosphere and Ocean, and this is Science in 180. I'm here today at Seattle's Fisherman's Terminal, where boats arrive daily carrying an abundance of fresh seafood. We take for granted that it will last forever, but research indicates that shellfish, such as oysters and clams, may be in danger. The cause? Increases in carbon dioxide, or CO2, in the atmosphere are affecting the oceans, which could have devastating consequences for Washington's shellfish industry. All the CO2 that's released by humankind, including not only burning of coal and oil, but the burning of trees to make uh, farmland, all those processes release CO2 in the atmosphere and causes a change in the, in the atmosphere that's a very dramatic change. We are presently releasing on the order of 70 million tons of CO2 in the atmosphere every single day. You've heard of the greenhouse effect and global warming and climate change and all of that from rising CO2. Well, it turns out that the oceans absorb about 25% of the CO2 that we release from burning fossil fuels. What we've discovered recently is that we put so much CO2 into the oceans now that we're actually changing the chemistry of the oceans through a process that we call ocean acidification. There's a lot of concern that ocean acidification will impact our shellfish industry. Oysters and clams form hard calcium carbonate shells and that shell will be more difficult for the organism to build under acidified conditions. They're very small stages, the really young stages of oysters and clams, could be really vulnerable. And those very tiny shells could more easily dissolve. We use them in our economy. They're really important uh, in Washington State and actually throughout the world. And it may become harder to, to culture, to farm oysters and mussels under these conditions of ocean acidification. What I want to, to emphasize here is that we haven't gone beyond the edge yet and that we do have options now to protect ourselves by reducing CO2 emissions as much as 80 percent of what we are releasing now. This is why we have to address the issue of climate change and fossil CO2 emissions. This is a decision we as humans have to make and we better get it right. For more information on ocean acidification, see our website at jaseo.washington.edu. I'm Jed Thompson, and this has been Science in 180. Thanks for watching.